Hey everybody, welcome back. It's Rafi again with Case Suspension. And today we are going to be installing some adjustable coil mounts. Uh, these are the Acos brand. Uh, they sell them on JKS, uh, manufacturing through JKS, sorry. Um, these things are freaking sweet if you're looking for uh, some adjustable ride height. Uh, that way you can raise or lower your front end uh, based on the type of springs that you have. Uh, say you're upgrading your lift and you're like, oh, well, I want to go up another inch or two inches. But you don't want to spend the money on all new coils and all that. Well, this here's your ticket. Um, this thing is a very well designed product. Uh, it comes in a few pieces. You literally thread them all together. You got a new bump stop, new bolt, and uh, it goes right in place where your old shock tower is. Um, or sorry, your coil tower. Um, so we're going to go ahead and install this, show you guys how to do it. Uh, it does come with uh, instructions, pretty well straightforward. Uh, hopefully this does help give you a visual aid though. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay guys, so uh, first step you're going to have to do is go ahead and remove your coil spring. Uh, get that out of the way. Uh, in this case we made life a little easier. The entire axle's gone, so coil's already off. Uh, so you want to start off by going ahead and uh, removing your bump stop. So if yours is still here magically, go and take it out. I'm gonna throw this away, and uh, you can go ahead and remove your isolator from here. That's trash. And uh, what you're gonna have to do is uh, actually we're gonna cut this bottom end here for your bump stop mount. Now on some of the older rigs uh, and some TJ's and all, uh, this part actually screws on so you can actually unscrew it. It might be stuck so you're probably going to have to get a pair of chans and grip on this thing and turn it. Um, good thing on that is there's a hole already threaded here for you for the new setup so you don't have to really worry about like tapping anything or drilling or anything like that. Uh, for someone like me though, uh, this, this is an 01, uh, this part here is welded. So we're actually going to have to cut this off and go ahead and tap for the bolt that's going to be replaced here. Now in order to cut this, you don't want to cut too much off. Uh, there is a flat washer in here with a hole in the middle. Uh, you want to go ahead and measure the distance from that flat washer out to the outside edge here and mark it on the outside and go ahead and cut it off there. Uh, you can use a die grinder, uh, sawzall, whatever it is, uh, your weapon of choice really. So let's go ahead and measure this up. Okay, so now that we got that cut off, uh, I used a grinder to clean everything up, uh, make sure it's as flush with that washer as possible. Uh, there is going to be a hole right here. Uh, if yours is not already threaded, uh, you're going to want to go ahead and uh, run a tap through it. Uh, so that's going to be a M10 by 1.5. So we're going to go ahead and run a tap through this. So after you've done tapping the hole, uh, we can go ahead and actually mount the ACOS mount. Um, now you don't have to do this part, but I actually go ahead and coat this uh, shaft here with some anti-seize. Uh, that way, if I ever want to remove these things in the future, it hopefully won't be stuck on there. I mean, we all know things like to stick, so it's not going to hurt nothing. I'm going to go ahead and just lather it on. Now on the ACOS mount, you'll see once you thread the uh, center portion in, it's going to come out from the top. You want to go and back that off until it's just below this lip right here. That way this can sit up flush. So we're going to go ahead and push this on up there. And this right here is going to be your tightening bolt for your set bolt so that when you do adjust, depending on where you move this, lower you go, 
the higher your lift will be the higher you bring this the lower your lift will be so this is going to be your set screw to tighten everything down uh, we're going to make sure that that's facing out and you want to go ahead and make sure that this ring is flush up against the top of this tower so you may have to bring down this center shaft to bring this up so now that you got this all mounted up you don't have to tighten this down just yet but uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, grab the isolator this is going to go onto here so that'll stay up there and uh, the kit is actually going to come with a new bump stop and this uh, spacer uh, this spacer is actually beveled on one end this bevel right here must go inside of this ring so when it's installed it sits flush inside lost the isolator so when we uh, mount this bump stop goes on bottom spacer on top with the bevel facing up you got your new bolt it's going to be a eight millimeter Allen and uh, throw a little anti-seize on here go ahead and thread it in snug it down until this bump stop bulges just a little bit don't over tighten it you'll strip it out And there you have it guys, uh, that, that's it. I don't know why this isn't staying up right now, but once the coil's in, it'll go ahead and stay up. But uh, make sure you tighten down your set screw so that this thing doesn't move. And that's it, that's all she wrote. Well guys, I hope that uh, this video was informative for you. Um, hopefully it gives you a little visual aid onto what's going on and how to install these things. Uh, they're really, really easy to do probably won't take you more than 30 minutes and that's with taking the coil off and putting it back on uh, unless it's stock it might take you a little longer those things can be kind of a pain <laughs> but uh, overall uh, I do recommend this product it is awesome we've installed it on many customer rigs uh, we're finally getting a chance to put it on our own um, this also helps out if you have any like coil sag uh, one of them's maybe a little weaker than the other and one side of your Jeep's leaning down more than the other, you know, this will help level everything out. That way you keep a solid front suspension going. Um, as always, uh, let us know if you'd like to see anything else. Uh, I'd be happy to throw it on the books for you and hopefully make a video on it. Um, don't forget to check out our website, casesuspensionlifts.com. Uh, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel. We've got lots of cool videos and a lot more coming. Uh, other than that, hope you guys have a wonderful day. And as always, Happy trails.